How's it going, everybody? Um, I know it's been a while, but uh, yeah, uh, today I wanted to because I'm, I'm doing a lot. I'm gonna try and do a lot of these, uh, so I thought I'd make a tutorial out of it because a lot of been, uh, people have been asking me how to make them, and I thought I'd show everyone. So. I'm going to be showing you how to make an Enigma Alien Suka. Or some people like to call them aliens. I don't really know the proper terminology, but this is one of them I did a while back. I don't know if the camera is focusing or not. But yeah, so first off, what you want to do, or what I did first, is I did some prep. Um, so I got. Uh, 12, 12 pieces of 0.3 canthal and two 28 gauge frames here and I got a long strand of it I say let me get the measuring tape out oh, um, it is a uh, 13 inches long so like a, like a foot uh, you don't need to necessarily do that um, but since I'm gonna be making a lot of these I figured why not and so once that prep is done uh, you can look in my other videos but what I like to do is uh, tape the end and then get some 36 gauge wrap it around 36 gauge wrap it around and then you're good to put it in the chuck of the drill. But I taped it just like two times across. Um, reason for that is because I use one of these. There's tape on there. Um, I use one of these to keep the cores flat. Uh, tape and sukas don't really mix well, so. That's just for where I'm done. Like, I'm gonna wrap the coils. I'm not even gonna include the taped parts. Um, but yeah, so once that's done, 12 pieces of 0.3 Cantal and two pieces of 28 gauge. Um, I found that 24 gauge works best um, for the clapping that you're gonna be doing to get the, the suka going. So 24 gauge, and excuse me, um, I cut. Let me get the measuring tape out again. I cut a mm, 27 inch piece. It was longer than that, but I had to wrap it around the swivels and everything. But the amount that I'm going to clap in is around like 26 inches. Did I say feet earlier? I don't know. Um, so, it's a long piece of wire, and that's because, just like any other alien, the decor, it, it's it's not going to be the same as the length of wire that you that you have. It's not like a regular Clapton or anything. Um, my pliers fixed up here. So... What you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap this just like any other alien. Um, let me get these out real quick. So I used 24 gauge. I used 0.3, and this is what I'm gonna be using for the uh, Clapton, the actual suka, and uh, 28 gauge. So, let me fix up the camera to where you can see what's going on in here, how, how long the Clapton is, and then we'll get right down to it. So, you're gonna get your point three here. And, actually, need to straighten this. It's not imperative that you straighten this, but uh, I want to do it anyway. And then 
get your point three. And you, you're gonna wanna set this up to where, um, just like any other alien, you're gonna you're gonna do the the initial clapton in, in reverse of what you are gonna do afterwards. Um, so I like to do it this way, like wrap it under the the single piece of twenty four gauge. So I'm gonna wrap it around this thing, keep it secure. And then we're just gonna clap in this long ass piece of 24 gauge with the 0.3 cancel. All right, then roll up the spool of this eight wire and then clip it off here. So as you can see, that uh, took up a bit of my ribbon. Um, so I'm gonna put that away and I guess the camera was out of focus this entire time, but whatever. Um, so, I don't know, you probably noticed I stopped every now and then. Let me find it. So I fucked up here. Fucked up there, but it just kept going, so it's all good. I'm gonna cut these up anyway. Fucked up there. And right there before I was almost done. There you go. Alright, so since Canthal is, I don't know, it's, it's a little stiff, so put the drill in clockwise or w w the opposite of what you clapped in this in and hold it like this. Uh, M Turk. It's an M Turk trick that I learned. And then just hold it and let the. Oh, actually. First, you gotta take this off where I, where I wrapped it around the, the leg here so that it can spring like that. So, there you go. So then, do this thing again. And then I like to check at the other end of the wire to see if it's, you know, if it's gonna move when I try to take it off of here. Doesn't feel like it, so I'm gonna keep going. All right, so should be good. Clip it off over here. And Decor it actually. I'm gonna clip it off over there. And I'm gonna pause the video, get this decored, and we're gonna get cracking on it. Alright, so now I have my decord clapped in here. So what I'm gonna do is find the screwed up parts and first off, I'm gonna stretch it where it's fucked up, and then clip it, and repeat the process. And last one. And there you go, now you got four Four decent pieces of wire to work with. Um, not exactly sure if this is gonna get me a long enough strand, but the problem with these is like, I, I don't know if I'm the only one that has this problem, but when you stretch it, it, it tends to bunch up on itself if it's, if it's touching like anything. So I'm gonna try it with these uh, shortened lengths lengths, excuse me. Also, I forgot to mention this thing. I made a, a little loop 
out of like 22 gauge, 20 gauge, I don't remember. Uh, just twisted the end and I put that in the drill and then I stuck the, the 24 gauge through that to clapped in the um, 24 gauge. It, it helps with, with the, the wire not, you know, breaking off. Um, so there's that. And I got my prepped wire here. And what I'm going to do is... Alright, so... I got the start of the wire here. I'm going to... I'm gonna put it like this, so it's gonna be close to the uh, beginning, but not too close to where you can't really do anything with it. So just in case you, you know, need some help with that, that's how I do it. Um, my nails, I cut my nails, so it's gonna be difficult. This is a very strong clip, so we'll see how it goes. I'm holding this. This part of the wire with my fingers pretty tight because so I don't want those cores to start acting funky. Alright, so then I got that much on there. I'm going to slide it around. To this side. And slide it around until it's clamping down evenly on both sides for the most part. I mean, this isn't an exact science. All right, and then once it's there, I'm gonna slide it down just a tad. And then there you go. We're good, good to go. So now I'm going to install it in the drill over here. There you go. And when I when I close the chuck, I, I gotta watch it just to make sure it's not the cores aren't being screwy here. And I'm gonna try and get it as even as possible in this chuck. So I'm eyeballing it, making sure the cores are still flat, or stack, whatever, and give it a little tug, move this a little bit, alright, that looks decent. Alright, so now I'm going to grab one of these strands real quick. So I got my strand here, and I'm gonna grab it by both ends, and just, okay, um, and I'm gonna pull it, just like a regular alien. And I'm gonna stop incrementally, just to make sure the springiness is out of it, so that it doesn't bunch up on itself. And I'm gonna stretch the rest off camera, but you really, with these, you wanna stretch it as much as possible without breaking the actual ribbon. So, let me see. Um, so it should have like an alien-esque vibe to it. Um, yeah, so it should look like that. Let me see if I can zoom better on my camera. Okay, so it looks funky, but that's how it looks. That's how Clapton Ribbon looks. So you can already see the... the little curves in it. That's what's gonna... work its magic. So, once that's done, I like to, depending on the, the core size, I, I like to get it from here and run my fingers all the way down 
Because there's only so much stretch that it can take um, when pulling it from end to end. For some reason, running your fingers down just stretches it a little bit more. And sometimes you need that because you don't want to be pulling too much pressure, too much tension on your your build. Especially if you're not using one of these. But on the same token, you also don't want to um, don't want it to be too light. Like I tried a 10 ply variation with 24 gauge decor, and it did not work very well. Um, the cores collapsed on themselves, and it was a, a nightmare. But let me. There we go. So. Remember to put your, your drill uh, in forward, whatever whatever that is to you, and then slowly start claptoning it. Ugh. So I'm needing to apply more pressure, more tension to get it to, to work like this. Um, so you want to go slow, uh, you can speed up, but it depends on how much you stretch the wire. I understretched it this time, like I didn't run my fingers through it as many times as I normally do, but that's okay, because you can just adjust it while you're actually doing the, the clapton here. So you can see it's like stretching like while I'm clapton it. That's because I'm adding tension to, to match the, the previous fuses. So once it gets to about there, I'll stop and I'll just move this down just a little bit. Not too much, no rush. No rush here. Um, just keep going. But yeah, if you're if you're if you're just watching this to figure out how to do it, I don't really know what the conclusion is gonna be here, but that's oh shit, um, that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, that's how you do it and all that. Um, not really sure how long of a length this uh, this is gonna give me. Um, I still got some a ways to go. I'll probably fast forward the video at this point, but yeah, so sometimes the wire can be inconsistent, but it's like this shit, like right here, it's kind of starting to get come closer together, and over here it looks further apart, but that's alright, um, and I'm holding it on a, on a lead forward, uh, you can't really tell, but I am holding it on a lead forward, just like a, a regular alien, you know. Because um, it still behaves like a regular alien, it's just more tension and more fuckery. So now you can see I'm, I'm starting to care less about uh, how far I... I push that key ring. Um, my index finger and my thumb, mostly my thumb is cramping up at this point uh, from so much pressure. And that happens, don't worry about it. You can, you can take a break. Uh, the wire is very stiff, so it's not gonna hurt you. Um, you can start right back up. Or you can hold it with your right hand while you stretch out your, your left. Um, and then you just keep going. So see, I fucked up there, but I'm not gonna worry about it. That's what happens when you take breaks. 
But it's okay, brakes are okay. So at this point, I'm going a little bit faster and it shows. So I'm screwing up a little bit more. All right, so I'm just gonna finish this up and then take a look at it when it's done. All right, so this is the end product. You zoom in there. That's, okay, there we go. So it looks super inconsistent, but once you wrap it, it'll be fine. I had some trouble here because my finger kept running into the key ring on that last bit of wire, but I like to, even with the the screwy wire, I like still like to wrap it so I have something to, to uh, you know, grab on to when I wrap the actual coil. So that's what it looks like. And then, let's see what it measures out to. So, looks like that'll be a four wrap. Um, looks like you need about five and a half, no, six, six and a half inches of a decor to get like a five wrap. That's my guess, because this was five inches or so. So, yeah. So, I'm going to cut this. I got four uh, pretty tiny sticks. That's what she said. So that's what they look like. I don't know if the camera can get a good shot of them, but that's what they look like. So now I'm going to wrap these around a 2.5. Uh, I got it at like a little 90. Looks like a 90 degree angle, and I'm going to bend that, and there you go. There's your suka. So I'm gonna wrap up the other ones, and then we'll finish it off. All right, so we're done wrapping them up. I'm done wrapping them up, whatever. And. what they look like. So they look perfectly fine. You know, once you wrap them, a lot of the inconsistencies just kind of disappear. But on the same token, a lot of them stay <laughs> as well. Uh, get the macro lens. I can't clip it onto my phone because it just, uh, it doesn't work without me taking off the case, and I don't really want to do that. But, as you can see... They look like Enigma Alien Sukas. Um, yeah. So there you go. That's how you do that. Um... They're pretty small. Um, like, let me find a good comparison. Okay. So let me put these down. So this is a monster coil that barely fit in the goon. It's like 16 counts of point four. 0.3 something, but it's wrapped in 36 gauge, so that's what makes it so big, and it's corrugated, and 
There's a size comparison. So they're still relatively small coils. They can fit them just about anything. And um, yeah, so I'll bring it back to the front and wrap it up. All right, so one thing to, uh, to take into consideration here, uh, when you're doing the initial stretch, be careful if you want to run your fingers down the wire. Um, you'll probably feel something sticky when you're done, and that's dead skin that you just killed. Uh, they're pretty, pretty okay with .3, but just be careful. Because one time I decided to get my thumbnail and stretch it that way a long time ago, and it sliced down to my fingernail through like to like the pink part. It was disgusting. It hurt. And just don't go too fast or you know more dead skin will come off and you don't want to vape dead skin. But yeah, uh, check me out on Instagram at non-existent man. I do shit like this all the time. I've been on a suka kick lately. Oh and this it's a handy tool for when you uh, when you want to build my drill sits on my right, and uh, it's just a wadded up square of toilet paper. You stick it in your ear. Perfectly convenient. Uh, Earplug. But yeah. Take it easy, guys. If you have any more questions, just hit me up in my DMs. Slide up in my DMs or uh, comment on the video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you got any other builds that you want me to cover. Yeah. How are we going?